Um, nice and quick there. Shout out to Prize Picks. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's talk about the good news. Uh, Jared Curse, 2026 quarterback out of the state of Tennessee. Um, number one quarterback in the 2026 class. And based off all indications, and I told Patreon this this weekend, um, it sounded like things were always trended in this direction for Curtis. It sounded like him and Georgia were always really, really tied together. And he was always the option and always the likelihood the moment Julian Lewis reclassified. The moment Julian Lewis went from 2026 to 2025, Jared Curtis, marriage in heaven, right? Just already sign it up, let's go. Um, and it sounds like he called in this past weekend and wanted into the uh, into the 2026 class and didn't want to waste any time. So I just hope that the, the Georgia first commitment curse doesn't continue because he is the first commit in 2026, which means by law at the University of Georgia, he has to decommit, okay? Hasn't happened since 2020 when David Daniel went wire to wire. So we'll see if Jared Curtis can go wire to wire. Hoping he does, because he's the number one quarterback in America, uh, and there's a reason why, right? I I'm going to go ahead and talk you through the eval before I walk you through the eval over there on the board. Um, six foot three with thick lowers. Talked about thick lowers and thick mids on these quarterbacks. I want to see a lot of internal uh, inertia from that middle, from them nips down okay got to be thick in the mids and lowers as a quarterback to have a big big one percent arm that's exactly what he's got he's got extremely effortless life on the football i will tell you this though and i think this is very very important and i don't want to sound like a hater because again told you earlier i played single a football i understand there are good football players that come out of single a every single year dozens of them that come out and play but this is some of the most atrocious comp and like competition I've seen on tape. It's really, really, really bad. Okay, really, really bad. Um, I will guarantee he's got huge hands. I haven't measured him. I can tell by the way he throws the football, though, he's got some mitts on him. I'm talking about nine, nine inches or nine and ten sixteenth at least. Okay, borderline <laughs> ten inches in hands. Okay, got big old hands. Can tell by the way he spins it. Um, there is one clip in here, one clip in the entire film we're going to watch that's against Prince Avenue, a game that I know Ooh. for a fact he threw four interceptions. It was not good. Ooh. And the reason I want you to know that he played Prince Avenue is because I want you to go, the moment you look up on this film, audience, and you notice that, wow, that defense looks like it's filled with good football players. Put your hand up. Okay, and I want one of you guys to go, whoo, hey, those guys look good the moment you see it because it's I mean, it stuck out like a sore thumb on this tape. And that's Prince Avenue. That's Prince Avenue. Prince Avenue, great football team. Prince Avenue is not Grayson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Prince Avenue is not Buford. Prince Avenue here in the state of Georgia is not Cedar Grove. Okay, so there are a lot, a lot of uh, talent discrepancies here and transitions that he's going to have to make. He is an okay athlete. This tape's going to make him look like a superstar athlete. If you told me he was a 4.85 runner, I'd say right on the nail. That's exactly what that guy is, okay? Um, but he's a good enough athlete. You take the 1% arm because that's exactly what this guy is. He is a 1% arm right here, and I'm excited to watch the tape with you. Let's go to the board. I'm going to take my notes here because I think we're going to spend the rest of the night at the board, to be honest with you. Uh, put me into three. Should we name this guy? That's completely up to you. Barry the Buffalo? I'm an alliterations guy. We'll have to name this guy. Okay, shouts out to the family right here. Brutus. Brutus? I don't know. That's a, that's a good call right there. Barry's not a bad a shot. Wimpy. Barry does sound a little wimpy. We'll get to it. We'll name the Buffalo eventually. But, you know, he's hanging out up there. Uh, he's a Brody, and he's signed by some of our very first uh, and longest lasting subscribers over on patreon.com forward slash Brooks Austin. Boys and girls, thank you very much. This was a gift given to me, and I love it dearly. Um, wish somebody would avoid avoided signing the penis, but it is what it is. Let's go. Let's watch some tape. All right. You see what I'm talking about with the comp? Yeah. I mean, off rip, you can just kind of tell, okay, that, that's a little bit different. But you are going to see life. Buddy has an absolute chooch on him. One percenter. This ain't no two percent choocher. It's a one percent chooch kind of guy. All right. I think that ball traveled about 65 yards, to be honest with you. Um and there's that off one foot flick. Look at the ball location, mm. though, right? The, the throw is awesome. The location of the football is far more important. Swing us, or sing us the two right there. Look at his ball. 
That ball is put right away from that defender at the highest catch point for his wide receiver. Ball behind the back. Here's when I was like, all right, Buddy must have some really big mitts on him. All right, this next play, he takes this ball off play fake and puts it right behind his back all willy-nilly casually like that right there, okay? And then just absolutely looking like a god of an athlete out here on this field. Wow. He's jogging. Yeah. Jog and pull it away from folks. Oh, so this man. is what I'm saying. I, it's great that we look athletic on tape. It's awesome. But I don't know how much of this translates. But here's what I will tell you. Buddy is uber confident and he knows he's got it. Watch him when he throws his ball. He, he pulls a Steph Curry. Watch him right here. He's going to throw this ball, turn away from it. He's going to throw this ball, turn away from it, and it's a tud. I think he was turned right. away from the guy. He was turned away from there. the hit, but I, I'm just saying. We're, we're going to let that ball rip and come give him one of these. Ain't he worried about it. That ball's getting there. Also, blown coverage. Okay, he yeah. just threw it up in the air. But here you see the athleticism again, ripping through an arm tackle, ball on one foot, just a Ooh. dart. It's a very special arm talent throw right there, guys. That is, that is some elite shit on the run. Looks like it's in the rain, too. It is. That's what I'm saying. Big mitts on the kid. When you, when you see somebody cutting it, and what do I mean by cutting it? I'm talking about when they throw it, their, their hand is on the side of that football. They are not a linear thrower. They are rotational throwers. Almost all rotational throwers have to have big mitts because the ball's coming out on the edge. We don't have the pressure points on the top of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying when I say he cuts it. That ball's on the side of that, or that hand's on the side of that football, and he cuts that thing. <laughs> Gotta have big mitts. Mm. All right, I think we're coming up. But, I mean, oh, just wow. Timmy's and Tyler's all <laughs> over the field, bro. Oh, my Timmy's God. Timmy's and Tyler's all over the field. It's like watching a JV team. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Um, but you I know, just watched a corner. <laughs> what would you see? I, I just watched him hop two times out of his stance. Watch the far corner. Over here? <laughs> yeah. God. All right. So, I think we're getting close. That's Prince Avenue. That is Prince yeah. Avenue. All right. And just look. All right, look at these guys, okay? Everybody get a good mental picture? Mm -hmm. Everybody sees it. All right, we're going to flip to the next picture. All right, and this is the only reason it matters. And I, I don't want to – here's what I'm saying. This, this guy's got elite arm talent. He's one of the more gifted football players we've watched on this network from the quarterback position. I want that to be stated first. However, he threw four interceptions in this football game. Right. Okay? The, the best football team he played all year, and he has no supporting cast. This is a, like a six and five football team, okay? They're not good around him either. All right, but we see, we see actual D1 bodies on the field now, some, and there's not a lot. This is single A private school here in the state of Georgia, and this is by far the best football team they played all year last year. Yeah, and I do think something that needs to be taken into consideration this kid's like 15 years old. Right? Yes, still He's very young. He's got a lot of growing up to do. Very young. And you see, I mean, the right the right guard's getting annihilated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, annihilated. This is almost fun to watch, dude. So this is our and this is our first real clip of him facing pressure so <laughs> Jesus. far. Jesus. Yeah, and, and kind of throws him with anticipation right there. You can see why he threw some interceptions in that football game. I'm sure it was like yeah. that all night long. You know, just getting berated with pressure. Love the lower body mechanics as well as he never locked out. No. I hate when I see kids with the front side knee extension That's completely locked out. What do here? He gonna run around. This one's the goofiest one he has on the tape. This is all right. You're playing very little comp, right? Yeah. That I mean. Oh my god. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It's 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 pretty tough. But here's the deal. Okay, do me a favor, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm gonna walk over there and I'm gonna talk for a second. Pull up my recent tweet of him flicking the football and put it up here on the board. Here's the deal about this kid. I, I don't really care what the comp looks. Like. I really don't. And here's why. Because the arm talent is stupid. Mm -hmm. All right, so you take the arm talent, you put them in front of your comp, and you see what happens. This, to me, that looks like Ryan Puglisi tape. Y'all remember watching Ryan Puglisi coming yep. out of high school? It looks to me like Puglisi tape with Riola hype. Like, this kid's the number one ranked player in the country, and he's got tape that looks like Puglisi's. But Puglisi played up there in mass, so everyone just assumed it's bad football, I guess. Yeah, I mean, arm talent is arm talent. Like, comp mm -hmm. doesn't really matter for that. Mm -hmm. I think the, oh, my God, this guy's actually, he's, he's actually almost like a dual threat, the way he scrambles. I don't think you're going to see that ever when he gets to the college level because he is going against Timmy's and Tyler's. Yeah, now, he's gained a tremendous amount of weight, particularly, like I said, nips down into the lowers um, since this video. But this is it, guys. Th this is the arm talent that you are recruiting, okay? The ability to just throw it from all platforms and just hum that sucker, okay? Mm -hmm. He's got one of them ones, all right? He's going to be up there. The first day he gets on campus, he's going to spin it 
with everybody. You know what I mean? He's he's going to be able to throw it with just about anybody on that roster. Um, you know, he – it's just tough. It's very, very tough to go from that to the other one. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? To go from I didn't play a single D1 guy all year to – now I got nothing but NFL guys I'm playing against every day in practice. Now the question I have, and I don't know if you'll be able to answer this or not, is how is his uh, his processor? Yeah, I got no clue. I because I, I haven't seen, I haven't right. talked. That's, I haven't that's talked fine. the game with them. We don't know those things, but I would imagine they threw him on the board really, really quickly. But mm-hmm. um, nah, man, that's that's a, an elite football player from a talent perspective. But there's going to be some growing pains there. You would imagine, as there are for every high school kid, but really for guys who are are coming from systems and and places like that. Yeah, that's but, not. He's probably never had any talent around him that res- you yeah, know, looks anything too. like what he's no. going to have. So there, there's that as well. I think that's too – Yeah, here's the, the chat. They got beat by Prince Avenue 42 to nothing. I think the good thing too to know is that mm-hmm. it, when he does get into the class, assuming that he sticks the 2026 class, like he's still going to be like probably a year or two away before he's like having to start. Like regardless of how Georgia's quarterback room evens out by the time he gets there, you still probably have multiple years before you're calling on his name. Talk to another coach not from Prince Avenue that played against him last year, and here's what he said. Uh, has the ability to make every throw, but does not have a very good supporting cast, which turns him into a gunslinger trying to make every play. Not a super athlete, but will look good in the underwear Olympics. So There you go. And then the classic coach line. If he played for us, he'd light it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, got to love that. I, lo- I, love the give- need- I love the give me the five-star me. guy. Yeah, he, just, just, he just needs me. He just needs me. That's every coach. I would be the same exact way. Just, just, I just let me try. Let me try with Joe Milton. Mm. Just kidding. I would never. Um, but there's going to be somebody that wants to. So good luck on him.